joining us again for story time. Today we're going to read Water Bugs and Dragonflies. Water Bugs and Dragonflies. Can I see? Yeah. yeah. Down below the surface of a quiet pond lived a little colony of water bugs. They were a happy colony living far away from the sun. For many months, they were very busy scurrying over the soft mud on the bottom of the pond. They did notice that every once in a while, one of their colony seemed to lose interest in going about with its friends. Clinging to the stem of the pond, it gradually moved out of sight and then was seen no more. Look, said one of the water bugs to another. One of our colony is climbing, climbing up the lily stalk. Where do you suppose she's going? Up, up, up she went slowly. Even as they watched, the water bugs disappeared from sight. Her friends waited and waited, but she didn't return. That's funny, said one of the water bugs to another. Wasn't she happy down here? Asked the second water bug. Where do you suppose she went, wondered a third. No one had an answer. They were greatly puzzled. Finally, one of the water bugs, a leader in the colony, gathered his friends around. I have an idea. The next one of us who climbs that lily stalk must promise to come back and to tell us where he or she went and why. We promise, they all said solemnly. One spring day, not long after the very water bug who had suggested the plan, found himself climbing up the lily stalk. Up, up, up he went. Before he knew what was happening, he had broken through the surface of the water and fallen onto a broad green lily pad. Weary from his journey, he slept. When he awoke, he looked about with surprise. He couldn't believe what he saw. A startling change had, become, had come to his old body. His movement revealed four silver wings and a long tail. Even as he struggled, he felt an impulse to move, move with his wings. The warmth of the sun soon dried the moisture from his new body. He looks different, doesn't he? Yep. Mm -hmm. He moved his wings again and suddenly found himself up above the water. He had become a dragonfly. Swooping and dipping into great curves, he flew through the air. He felt exhilarated in the new atmosphere. He looks happy. Mm -hmm. He is happy. He is happy. By and by, the new dragonfly lighted happily on a lily pad to rest. Then it was, then it was that he chanced to look below to the bottom of the pond. I think he's remembering his friends? Yes. Yeah. Why, he was right above his old friends, the water bugs. There they were, scurrying about, just as he had been doing some time before. The dragonfly remembered the promise. Next time one of us who climbs up the lily stalk will come back and tell where he or she went and why. Without thinking, the dragonfly darted down. Suddenly, he hit the surface of the water and bounced away. Now that, now that he was a dragonfly, he could no longer go in 
to the water. I can't return, he said in dismay. I tried, but I can't keep my promise. Even if I go back, not one of the water bugs would know me in my new body. I guess I'll just have to wait here until they become dragonflies too. Then they'll understand what happened to me and where I went. And the dragonfly winged off happily into its wonderful new world of sun and air. The end. Well, thanks for joining us for story time. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.